Priya, we have seen our economy shift in some very strange ways, of course, during the pandemic. While many businesses aren't even open, others, like boat sellers, can't keep up with demand. Business editor Rob Maloney tonight discovering the Great Lakes State has renewed its love affair with the boat. So for the past couple of years here at I-96 in Wicks and Wilson Marine has had a parking lot jam packed with boats. But this is the parking lot today. It's empty. Where'd they go? They've all been sold. They ring a bell every time they sell a boat at Michigan's largest boat sales lot. Yet it's run constantly for months now, says General Sales Manager Kevin Mosier. Been in this business 40 plus years and I've never ever experienced anything like this at all. They didn't know what to expect when they reopened back in May, quickly discovering. Turns out everybody was tired of being stuck at home. They were looking for things to do. They couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't take their vacations. They, there was no soccer practice, no football practice. So in they came, and they came by the droves. A couple of hundred boats left this lot pronto, and the nautically inclined cleared out Wilson's four other locations as well. It's a great problem to have. That is until you have to restock, and that's why all the boat freight asphalt today. Boat makers that survived the virus are building, shipping daily, but they don't stay long, and shortages abound. I mean, if you were to order a boat right now, you probably wouldn't see it until October, maybe November. And continued uncertainty will likely keep the supplies short. The fall show has already been canceled. We don't know what's gonna happen in January, so we are getting people in here now that are taking precautions, getting their boats ordered now. It also turns out this is a national and even an international problem. And you can buy boats online, so Wilson Marine's been shipping boats to internet buyers as far away as California and even overseas to places like Croatia, believe it or not. In Wixom, Rod Maloney, Local 4.